This was 1997, when the United States Congress passed a single amendment that would create their biggest nightmare. When Representative Dave Obey banned F-22 Raptor exports, he thought he was protecting America's most advanced fighter jet. Instead, he forced Japan to do something far more dangerous, build their own. 27 years later, Japan's homegrown sixth-generation fighter threatens to outclass anything America has ever built. The X-2 Shinshin was just the beginning. The FX program became unstoppable, and now, the fighter jet that America refused to sell has evolved into a monster that could dominate Pacific skies. This is the story of how saying no to your closest ally created your most formidable competitor. Welcome to Jet Insight, where we reveal the untold stories behind military aviation's greatest achievements. What happened when America told Japan they couldn't have the F-22 will shock you. Because Japan didn't just accept that rejection. They built something better. For decades, Japan had been America's most loyal customer, buying every fighter jet the Pentagon was willing to sell. F-4 Phantoms, F-15 Eagles, F-16 Derivatives, Japan purchased them all without question. But when they asked for the one aircraft that could truly defend their homeland, America slammed the door shut. That single moment of rejection would trigger the most ambitious fighter development program in Japanese history. Today, Japan's indigenous sixth-generation fighter program stands as proof that sometimes the best way to get what you need is to build it yourself. If you believe nations should have the right to defend themselves with the best technology available, type PROUD in the comments below. The moment everything changed. Let's go back to that pivotal moment in 1997. Japan's Air Self-Defense Force was operating aging F-4 Phantoms and needed a modern replacement. They looked at America's crown jewel, the F-22 Raptor, and knew immediately this was exactly what they needed. The F-22 wasn't just another fighter. This was a machine that could engage eight targets simultaneously while remaining completely invisible to enemy radar. Its twin Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines could push it past Mach 2 without afterburners. Most importantly for Japan, it had the range and capability to defend the vast Pacific approaches to their homeland. Japan's request was straightforward and reasonable. They wanted to purchase F-22s to replace their aging fleet and maintain technological superiority over potential threats in the region. After all, Japan had been buying American fighters for decades. This should have been just another routine sale. But Congress had other plans. The Obey Amendment, passed in response to fears about technology transfer to China, banned all F-22 exports. No exceptions. No special cases. No consideration for Japan's unique strategic position or their decades of loyal partnership with the United States. When Japanese defense officials received the final rejection in 1998, they faced a stark choice. Accept technological inferiority or build their own solution. For a nation that had rebuilt itself from the ashes of World War II into an industrial powerhouse, the choice was obvious. Japan would build their own fighter jet, and it would be better than anything America refused to sell them. The birth of Japanese fighter independence. December 2009 marked the official beginning of Japan's quest for fighter independence. The Ministry of Defense launched what they called the Future Fighter Program, later renamed the FX Project, this wasn't just about building another aircraft. This was Japan's declaration that they would never again depend on American approval for their national defense. The specifications they set were breathtaking in their ambition. The new fighter would be larger than the F-22, with greater range and payload capacity. It would incorporate sixth-generation technologies that wouldn't appear in American fighters for another decade. Most importantly, it would be entirely Japanese, from the engines to the radar to the stealth coatings. But first, Japan had to prove they could master the most critical technology, stealth. This led to one of the most remarkable aircraft development programs in modern history, the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin. The X-2 program began in earnest in 2009, with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries leading a consortium of Japanese aerospace companies. Their mission was simple in concept, but revolutionary in execution, develop indigenous stealth technology that could rival anything coming out of Lockheed Martin's skunk works. The challenges were enormous. Stealth technology involves complex mathematical modeling of radar cross-sections, advanced composite materials, and precise manufacturing techniques that only a handful of countries had mastered. 
Japan would have to develop all of this from scratch, without any help from the Americans who had pioneered these technologies. What happened next would surprise even Japan's most optimistic engineers. Proving Japan could do the impossible. April 22, 2016. Nagoya Airfield in central Japan. At exactly 2.47 p.m. local time, a sleek, diamond-shaped aircraft, unlike anything Japan had ever built, lifted off the runway for its maiden flight. The Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin was airborne, and with it, Japan's dreams of fighter independence. The aircraft that took to the skies that day was a masterpiece of indigenous engineering. Every component, from its advanced fly-by-fiber optic flight controls to its radar absorbent materials, had been developed by Japanese companies using Japanese technology. This wasn't a modified American design or a licensed production aircraft. This was purely Japanese innovation. The X-2's engines were particularly impressive. The IHI XF-5 turbofans incorporated three-dimensional thrust vectoring technology that allowed the aircraft to perform maneuvers no American fighter could match. The engines could deflect thrust up to 20 degrees in any direction, giving the X-2 supernatural agility in combat. But the real breakthrough was in stealth technology. Japanese engineers had developed their own radar absorbent materials using carbon-based compounds that were lighter and more effective than anything in the American inventory. The aircraft's serpentine air intakes and carefully sculpted surfaces reduced its radar cross-section to a fraction of conventional fighters. During its test program, which concluded in March 2018, the X-2 proved that Japan could build stealth technology every bit as advanced as what America had developed. Radar tests showed the aircraft was virtually invisible to conventional detection systems. Flight tests demonstrated agility that surpassed even the legendary F-22 Raptor. American defense officials who monitored these tests knew immediately that Japan had crossed a threshold. The country they had dismissed as a customer had become a technological equal. Building the real thing. The X-2 was never meant to be a production fighter. It was a technology demonstrator, a proof of concept that would validate Japan's ability to build the real thing. And by 2018, Japan was ready to build exactly that. The FX program, officially announced in 2020 with a budget of 256.5 million for initial development, represented the culmination of Japan's fighter independence journey. This would be their production's sixth generation fighter, designed from the ground up to exceed the capabilities of any aircraft America had ever built. The specifications were staggering. The FX would be powered by twin IHI XF9 engines each generating more electrical power than entire buildings. These engines would be 30% smaller than the General Electric F-110s used in Japan's F-2 fighters, but far more powerful. The compact design would leave more room for internal weapon storage while maintaining the aircraft's stealth profile. The fighter's radar cross-section would be half that of existing stealth aircraft, making it virtually undetectable to current generation radar systems. Advanced electromagnetic wave absorbers would be applied throughout the aircraft, using carbon-based materials developed specifically for this program. But the real revolution was in the aircraft's brain. The FX would feature artificial intelligence systems that could process sensor data and make tactical decisions faster than any human pilot. It would coordinate seamlessly with unmanned drones, effectively multiplying the capability of each aircraft. Most importantly, it would feature what Japanese engineers called self-repairing flight systems that could compensate for damage during combat. By Japanese terminology, these capabilities would classify the FX as a true sixth-generation fighter, a category that wouldn't include any American aircraft for at least another decade. The engines that changed everything. At the heart of Japan's fighter revolution were the engines. The IHI XF-9 turbofans represented perhaps the greatest achievement in Japanese aerospace history. These weren't licensed copies of American designs or modified versions of existing engines. These were entirely Japanese creations that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. Each XF-9 engine could generate 180 kilowatts of electrical power, enough to power a small town. Combined, the two engines would provide 360 kilowatts of electricity to run the fighter's advanced systems. This massive power generation capability would enable technologies that no existing fighter could support, including directed energy weapons and advanced electronic warfare systems. The engines incorporated breakthrough materials technology developed by Japanese companies. Advanced ceramic components could withstand temperatures that would melt conventional engine parts, 
New titanium alloys, stronger and lighter than anything in the American inventory, reduced weight while increasing durability. Perhaps most impressive was the engine's three-dimensional thrust vectoring capability. Unlike American fighters that could only vector thrust in two dimensions, the XF-9 engines could deflect thrust in any direction around a full 360-degree circle. This gave Japanese fighters maneuverability advantages that no opponent could match. The successful development of these engines proved that Japan had mastered every aspect of advanced fighter technology. They no longer needed American permission, American components, or American approval for anything related to their national defense, the fighter that surpassed the F-22. By 2020, as the FAX program moved into detailed design phase, it became clear that Japan had achieved something remarkable. They had designed a fighter that would surpass the F-22 Raptor in every meaningful category. The FX would be larger than the F-22, earning it the nickname Godzilla from aviation experts. But this size enabled capabilities that smaller aircraft simply couldn't match. The fighter would carry twice the internal weapons load of an F-35 and have a combat radius that exceeded both the F-22 and F-35 by significant margins. The aircraft's stealth characteristics would be superior to any existing fighter. New radar absorbent materials and more sophisticated shaping would reduce its radar cross-section to levels that would make it virtually invisible to current and projected radar systems. Most importantly, the FX would incorporate artificial intelligence and sensor fusion capabilities that represented a generational leap beyond anything in the American inventory. The fighter would be able to process information from satellites, ground sensors, and other aircraft to create a complete battlefield picture that no enemy could hide from. Japanese engineers had done more than build their own fighter. They had built a fighter that made the F-22 they were denied look obsolete by comparison. Are you a military veteran or military enthusiast? We'd love to have you join our community of veterans and active service members who share insights and experiences about military technology and strategy. Your expertise and perspective would be invaluable to our growing family of defense professionals. The partnership that changed everything. But Japan's leadership understood something crucial about modern fighter development. Even the most advanced nation couldn't go it alone forever. The costs and complexity of sixth-generation fighters required partnerships, but partnerships on Japan's terms, not America's. In March 2017, Japan signed a cooperation agreement with the United Kingdom to explore joint fighter development. This wasn't Japan seeking help because they couldn't do it themselves. This was Japan offering to share their advanced technologies with an ally who appreciated their capabilities. The partnership expanded in December 2022, when Italy joined to create the Global Combat Air Program. But make no mistake about who was driving this partnership. Japan brought the most advanced technologies, the most ambitious specifications, and the clearest vision for what a sixth-generation fighter should be. The GCAP fighter, combining Japanese innovation with British and Italian expertise, would represent the pinnacle of non-American fighter technology. It would be operational by 2035, giving Japan and its partners a decade-long advantage over anything America could field. Conclusion Today, as the FX moves toward production under the GCAP partnership, it stands as proof of what happens when you tell your closest ally, no. Japan didn't just build their own fighter, they built a better fighter. They mastered technologies America thought were exclusive to them. They created partnerships that didn't depend on American approval. The F-22 that Congress refused to sell in 1997 would be obsolete by the time Japan's fighter takes to the skies. The country that was denied access to American technology became the leader in sixth-generation fighter development. Sometimes the best response to rejection is to prove that you never needed their approval in the first place. Japan did exactly that, and the skies will never be the same. What do you think about Japan's incredible journey from customer to competitor? Let us know in the comments below, and if you found this story as inspiring as we did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories of military innovation and independence.